Holy smokes, everyone. This is an emergency breaking news update. We just got some huge, huge news what's going on with the developing story of Russia and Ukraine. Because people, I think this is just another piece of the puzzle and the reason why markets are tanking right now. So everyone, what just happened and what does this mean for the markets? Let's get into it. Look at this, everyone. State Department urges US citizens in Ukraine to leave the country amid Russian buildup at the border. Now, I've been following this story for a while now. We've continued to see troops build up more and more at the border, and we've seen Russia has been in talks with the US to try to de-escalate the situation, but things haven't worked out well. The State Department also ordered eligible family members of personnel at its embassy in Kiev to leave the country due to the deteriorating security conditions. But this is why things are getting worse, everyone. The latest revelation comes less than two days after face-to-face -face talks between Moscow and Washington. The Secretary of State Anthony Blinken told Russian counterpart on Friday that the Kremlin could defuse tensions and concerns about a potential invasion by removing a deployment of 100,000 troops and equipment away from Ukraine's border. And I definitely hope they do, but it doesn't look like this is going to be the case. The meeting between Blinken and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov came as Western officials, including President Joe Biden, have said they expect Moscow to launch an incursion into Ukraine intelligence has indicated Russia could attack within a month's time. Now, I can't go into the specifics of what's really happening uh, with Russia and Ukraine. That's a topic for another video. Geopolitics is not part of my expertise. But what I can cover and what you're probably wanting to know is how is this affecting the markets? Let's have a look. Look at this, everyone. As I'm recording this, the European markets are tanking. The DAX is down 1.7%. The FTSE is down 1.07% and the stock 600 is down roughly 2%. And for those of you that don't know, the stock 600 is an index like the S&P 500, but it's made up of 600 European companies over 17 countries. And what we can learn from history of how the stock market behaves before conflicts is they normally sell off before the conflict begins. The market hates uncertainty and they normally don't settle down until the conflict actually officially begins, which many people would think would actually be worse after the conflict begins. But normally what the markets try to do is price in events before it happens. But unfortunately, we're not just seeing tensions with Russia and Ukraine. We're seeing tensions rise globally. And this just happened today as well. There was a ballistic missile intercepted over Abu Dhabi, US State Department issues alert. Covered in a video recently how oil hit a seven year high after the Houthi attack on the UAE rattled the regional area. And on top of all this, we're seeing tensions rise higher and higher with China and Taiwan. So what this simply means is there is just so much uncertainty around the world. And what are we seeing around the world? Tensions are rising. Countries are getting more and more authoritarian. And you know, the old saying goes, when all else fails, go to war. And for those watching in the US, the futures markets, the pre-market was actually in the green by about 0.8%. But they're back in the red again. We're seeing this again and again. There's a sucker rally and then the hedge funds come in and dump on everyone. So everyone, it is time to buckle up. It is time to prepare now because things aren't looking good for the future. Now, for all my loyal viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.